Good morning. Okay, my house has been clean for almost 24 hours. At least this part. I'm going to show it to you. That's all the stuff for making sandwiches, which is always kept there. This, however, is crunchy. These are stale. I think what I'm going to do with these is make them into, into um, tortilla chips. And look at that. Have you ever seen that part of the counter clean at the same time as the washing machine is clean? And then look at this. The sink has only got one item in it. And this is a really cool washcloth. I had no idea that if you knitted a washcloth it would be really good. And look, I made bread yesterday. Mm-hmm. There's leftover dinner, which was vegetables. And I even tidied up this area. Look at that. I put the wheat grinder away. I found a new place for it down there. I put the other half in the freezer. Now over on the freezer I have one day I'm going to do pottery. And so I've, I've got this out to work on and this is full of reclaimed clay. which doesn't seem to be getting hard now that it's like that all the time. And look, the table is ready for the... And I swept the floor again this morning. Okay, I have a challenge now. My challenge is how long can I keep this clean? You see, something fell on the floor this morning and I was like, oh well. Then I thought, no, no. Now in here... This is all clean now. Oh, and I put this table over here. I just have this book I want to look at things for, and this is for Abraham, the seminary. And I cut up these soaps the other day, and I'm curious, you know, this weighs four ounces, which is a little, it's the same weight as one of these bars, okay? But these bars are, well, I don't know, it doesn't look the same, but if you get it right up close, it's just needs to be squished just a little bit and it'll be the same. But anyway, it's the same weight. That's weird. But why do people cut soaps like this and sell them like this all the time? Because if you sell them like this, I mean this is, it's twice as heavy, right? But you're selling it for the same price? I don't understand. And it's way too big to really use. I don't know. That's, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But some people, maybe it's just it's too wide. Some people cut them thinner. I don't want a thin, long bar of soap because it's too, I don't know. Now I've got soap all over my hand. Oops, look at this. A few things that I did not put away. This is my paste, which I made yesterday, which is working, working wonderfully for doing soaps. I have now, I think I did 700 soaps in the last few days me three days to work on these, putting labels on them all. But I still have those up on the top that are not labeled properly, and these down at the bottom. These I'm going to hand mill, and they slid off of there into the next thing. And that one I can't remember what they are. But I've been working here yesterday. <coughs> and so, oh my laundry, I have to admit my those three laundry baskets, or is it four laundry baskets, are full of clean laundry. And of course I'm about to do this floor and that wall over there, so this room is kind of disaster at the moment. But I have this much of my house clean. Now, if I can keep it clean, now what, what can I do to make myself keep it clean? You know, I have to go around and t pick up like this mess here I've made. You know, like I have to clean that up or else it's just going to stay get to be a bigger mess. I did put the things in that chair away. They went in the art room back there. Anyway, the first thing I want to do when I've got a clean house is cook. Because, I mean, with all this space, what could be better than to pull out a, a container and start cooking? So naturally today I want to make banana bread. Lots of banana bread, like ten recipes. And then I'll put them all in those containers up there. And I'll put them in there and then freeze them so that I don't have to 
always be saddled with somebody who is hungry. Okay, so if I can keep this kitchen clean, see I put this thing on the table here because I have to remember I'm out of cat food and I'm out of bird food and I need a guitar string for my son. So if I keep it on the table, I won't forget to go to town and get it. Okay, well, I wonder if your house is staying clean too. Did you clean it up? Your house probably always stays clean. It's so much easier for somebody else's house to stay clean than mine. Okay, goodbye.